Oh, talking about my mom? I will kick you in the face with my elderly toes. What's up, Happy Gamers? I'm Happy the Happy Gamer, and welcome back to Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. Today we're going to be doing a different scenario. Maybe someday we'll do the tournament, but for right now, let's just let yeah, let's just do a regular argument. We're going to go to a different scenario here, and I'm going to use Sir Knight because I haven't used him yet. I used Mr. J Shuffle Bottom and Mrs. Maggie last time. This time we're going to do Sir Knight. So nice. I don't know I chose. when we unlock other characters. It's Ooh. probably the tournament. We beat the tournament, we unlock other characters or something. By the lake! <laughs> this one sounds pretty full of insults already, I can tell. You stinky butt-faced bullfrog. Does this dead body belong to you by chance? Dead body? <laughs> of course not. I just borrowed it to put my teacup on. What? <laughs> you murdered this poor man to have tea on his rotting corpse? I don't understand. How could I murder him when I was hiding in a shrubbery with my rifle the whole morning? Shrubbery? All right. You might have a perfect alibi, but you can't deny that... Okay, so hmm. there's a lot of Monty Python humor in this course. Hmm. Your math teacher... Talk about my math teacher all you want. Who are we going to insult with him? Uh, your sister... Don't say has worse hair then. Please. All right, awesome. I think this ha this will have to do with his style, and he doesn't like his style being insulted. Your sister has worse hair than... Excuse me. Then... Dang it. We, we seriously can't do anything? Let's take a sip of tea. A stewed prune. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine a hairy prune? Oh, that's disgusting. Like... <laughs> Get that prune out of the stew, it's all hairy. You cross-eyed, inbred muck spout. <laughs> That's hilarious. <sighs> See how badly this hurts your him. Your math Our, teacher. Al, what? <laughs> your beloved auntie. Ah. Uh, uh, um. What? <laughs> your sister Did he get choked has up? worse hair than a stewed prune. You cross-eyed, inbred muck spout. Ow! He called you a muck spout. You spout the muck. Hmm. All right. Your mother must be fun at parties. Hmm. <laughs> this game. Oh, he's going to talk about my face. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Your mother must be fun at parties. <laughs> and you can't deny it. Your mother must be fun at parties, and don't use poses nude for that. Oh, he can't. It wouldn't make sense. Your mother must be fun at parties and poses nude for your face and your wife. <laughs> oh, 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 let's say it. Let's just do it. Your mother must be fun at parties and poses nude for your sister. <laughs> Maybe his sister's an artist. He's not doing very well on this one, is he? Your mother must be fun at parties and poses nude for your sister. Bam. Your mother must be fun <laughs> at parties and poses nude for your sister. Bam! Slapping him across the face with that mom insult there. Oh, your Take that. And your wife dance like. <laughs> He's really not doing very well. I'm choking him up. Mm. I'm choking him up with these mom insults. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's talking about my father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you piece of English crap. Uh, your house. Let's insult his house. Heck yes. Your father smells of your house acts like... <laughs> your father smells of your husband. <laughs> That sounds like Monty Python. Your father smells of your husband. Well, gosh dang it. Your house acts like this conversation. <laughs> you piece of crap. That was gonna... Dang it. Dang it! I don't have a choice but to use the ellipsis. Because I don't want to end the sentence there. That would be a terrible insult. Your house acts like this conversation. Your smells of your husband and has tiny feet. I bet. I know. What's so wrong about tiny feet? What's so bad about that? Hmm. 
My wife has tiny feet. You're gonna insult her? You probably will. Your house acts like this conversation, and... Hmm... What are you gonna say, Mr. Piece of Crap? Mr. J. Shufflebutt? Your house acts like this conversation, and... <laughs> yes. Yes, here we go. I can't wait for this one. Your house acts like this conversation, and your mother has not so much brain as earwax. <laughs> I've never compared intelligence to earwax before. All right, let's do it. This conversation is you. And... <laughs> It's rude. <laughs> this conversation <laughs> is you and is rude. <laughs> what does that mean? Your house acts like this conversation and your mother has not so much brain as earwax. Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> hmm. Oh, he's devastated. That one devastated him. He was like, hmm. <gasps> what? How dare you, Rutish fishmonger? Who are we gonna insult? What are we gonna insult? Someone insane. Your father probably murdered a reddish fishmonger. Your father probably murdered you. Your country was. Your father probably murdered you. <laughs> Your country was someone insane. How dare you? How dare you? I mean, I know that right now we've got Hillary and Trump at the front, but come on. Your father probably murdered you. Don't use and, please. Awesome, he ended it. And is silly. <laughs> Your father probably murdered you and is silly. Take that, you dirty, worthless piece of crap, you. Your father probably murdered <laughs> you and is silly. Oh, that cracks me up. Your country was someone insane. Yeah. That will be the story of America to come. It was me who murdered this man. I knew it! I needed his train ticket. Direct I knew it! First class. Look first at him, he's class, got a shotgun in his crotch. The ticket is understandable. But please, try to restrain from murder in the future. <laughs> try to... <laughs> That's it, now. I'm not gonna call the cops on you, just try to... Try to restrain from murder in the future. Just try to... Try to hold yourself back. I want to be Sir Knight again, because I enjoyed that. Knight. Yes. Ugh. Sean Connery. By the lake, train compartment, pet shop. Dang it, we've done everything? Are you kidding me right now? Gosh dang it. But why? But why, I say? Well, let's just do the train compartment then. And I'll be Sir Knight this time instead of Mrs. Maggie. And we'll see how it goes. I'm wondering if, like, there's going to be a different conversation. Excuse me. I believe this is my seat. No, it'll be Your the same. Seat? Does it have your name on it? I wrote I it don't there. I think so, but I have a ticket. No. First class, eh? You don't look like a first class to me. You piece of crap! I'm mm. first class if there ever was one. I don't care if I'm 97. Mm. Uh, your son talks to strangers. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's gonna insult who my father sits next to? Your son talks to strangers. You might want to do something about that. That means you're not a very good father if your son's talking to strangers. Your son talks to strangers and is not a part of Europe. How about that? Your father sits next to your wife. <laughs> you son of a washerwoman. Oh my gosh. Your son talks to strangers and is not a part of Europe. Take that. Oh, he's done. And doesn't like. And then we'll put an ellipsis. Oh, I guess I could have drank some tea. Dang it. Your father sits next to your wife. You son of a washerwoman. How dare you? Ooh. How <laughs> dare you, son? <laughs> your son talks to strangers and is not a part of Europe and doesn't like your wife. <laughs> I want your sense of style because I want to get him real real good. Yeah, we'll, we'll end it right there. Your seat was... Dang it, that gives him a lot of options. Your seat was this train. <gasps> what? And I have Your proof! Your seat was <laughs> this train. And I have proof! Oh! Ooh. 
You can't be Your there, son man. Talks to strangers and is not a part of Europe and doesn't like your wife. That burns. Rude. How rude of you, sir. Oh. Sir Knight. How rude of you. Oh, talking about my mom. I will kick you in the face with my elderly toes. Oh, where's secondhand clothes? Awesome. We can get him really good. Your seat will soon kick the bucket. <laughs> We'll soon kick the bucket and wear secondhand clothes. I love these options. Oh my gosh, this game. Your seat will soon kick the bucket and. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Wear secondhand clothes. Your seat will soon kick the bucket and wear secondhand clothes. <laughs> Your seat him good. will soon him good. kick the bucket and wear secondhand clothes. Bam! Touche! Oh. oh, only 14? Are you kidding me? a romp with a public loo. I guess it's because it was a little mm. obscure. Like, it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. This conversation, your son, your house. Your house is worthless. <laughs> mm. <laughs> your house is worthless. I should have said your son is worthless. That would have been hilarious. Your house is worthless. And your son is Satan. <laughs> Dang it, he took it! No, I wanted it so bad. That would have been so good. Your house is worthless and secretly adores. Dang it, I think I just screwed up. I just screwed up. Dang it! Dang uh. it! This stinks. I've not, I haven't done this yet. This stinks really bad. I'm doing what he did last time. It's because he took the your son one. That would have been great. Your house, your house is worthless, and your son is Satan. This conversation <laughs> acts like your son and worked with this train and looks like a sad lemur. Your house is worthless and secretly adores. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh, mm. that was painful. It's okay, Sir Knight. Mm. You're still an attractive old man. Uh, your father is an ill-nurtured. What did that say? Winnie face? <laughs> Wayface. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Your father is an ill-nurtured Wayface. <laughs> <laughs> Ill nurtured way. <laughs> Let's just say, and he'll probably say, Oh, he can't say is worthless. Yes! Let's take a sip of tea real quick. <gasps> Your father is an ill nurtured way face and worked with a platypus. <laughs> oh, oh, your hat. Ooh. No! Your hat is worthless. Get him where it hurts. Get it where it hurts. Your father is an ill-nurtured wayface, and your hat is worthless. Bam! Take that. Rude. Come on. <gasps> Pick one. Your seat yes. was you. <gasps> How dare you? Mm. My seat was not me. You piece of crap. Puts on Granny's clothing. <laughs> your cousin's car. Hmm. I don't... I don't know what to say. Your cousin's car puts on Granny's clothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot stop laughing at this game. Your cousin's car puts on Granny's clothing, and... I'm gonna take a sip of tea next time, see what we can get. And your mother... Dang it. Don't say is rude. <sighs> what? What? And your mother was some dog. Let's say acts like some dog. Is that it? Let's do it. Your cousin's car puts on Granny's clothing. And yeah. Your mother acts like some dog. Yeah. Ooh. Oh dang. Spam. Dances Don't get me. like you. You cheeky bastard. 
Ugh. Hey, See? one! There's too much of a commoner to sit here. You're right. It's not my ticket anyway. I literally murdered for it, but it wasn't worth it after all. He won because he compared my dancing to spam? The piece of crap? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator. Next time we'll do the Insult Tournament, and it'll be fantastic. It'll be glorious. It'll be just a bunch of crap that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun with this. I know that I had fun with it, and I like this video. And if you like this video, please leave me a like, because I would like that. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time. Oh my gosh, are you flipping joking me? He has a grave in his house. What kind of man is this? That's gonna, that's gonna hit him real deep. No man wants to hear about his wife admiring pictures of a hamster. <laughs>